great sweep. Yeah, just a great sweep, a hard-earned sweep against a, a really good team, a tough team to play against. And um, our guys got it done. Gibby got it done. The power play got it done. And, you know, two wins in regulation against that team, it's, it's a tough thing to do. I, I, you know, I don't know if, if they've been swept in regulation all year, uh, maybe at Northern Michigan. But um, they're a tough team to do that to because they just play so hard. You hit a power play. Yeah, we went into uh, the night really talking about, you know, as a staff and then to the team pregame, um, really focused on winning the special teams battle. We knew that had we win the special teams battle in that game, we had a really good chance to win it. And obviously the power play was tremendous and went, you know, three for four, really three for three. The last one, we were just trying to keep the puck and eat clock. Um, so they were perfect. The kill was perfect. Gibby was great again. It was just a good team win. Homer still very much put up a value and effort tonight once again. What could you necessarily say were the differences of his game tonight in comparison to his? Really good. You know, I, I, he, was, he was tremendous. He, he, he made, you know, some big saves there early in the second to keep us in it. I was really happy with how our guys, I mean, that team had a push and, and, and how our guys played in the third to, to keep them at bay and really didn't allow much. I mean, they had six shots down and, um, and, and just really happy with how we closed it out. But Gibby, Gibby was great. Coach, defensively, I mean, after they, even after they got the goal count, did you feel like they were trying to like pack the middle more? It seemed like you guys were getting a lot of just blocks on. Yeah, we were, we were committed to eating pucks and doing doing what we needed to do to get a win. Um, I mean, their goal it wasn't like we were under duress when they scored it. it. It was their their guy made a really good play in the forecheck and stripped Schmags of the puck, and um, they got a bounce off a stick, and and that's hap that happens, you know. So, but I, there was no doubt on our bench. There was no panic and. Our guys, you know, settled in after that and, and, and grinded it out to get us a win. Coach Ty coming back this week looks like he hasn't missed a beat for practice. He's, he looks incredible. He's looked really good in practice. He's got his legs. He's playing with pace. He's really good at the face-off dot. He, he's, he's been a huge shot in the arm for our group. And even guys like, you know, like Lucas Sillinger plays so much better with him. Um, and you can see it in Silly's game. And um, he just makes everybody better. He makes our team better. Do you feel he just adds kind of another layer of depth? Your team's scoring. He does. He has. He adds a ton of depth down the middle, and um, I mean, he's he's our first line center. You know, and when you go two and a half months without that and his brother, um, again, I think I said it last night. Uh, you're really proud of our guys for for we're 26 and six. I think four teams in college hockey have 20 wins. It's no small feat. It's it's a huge deal, and um, we got to just keep plugging away. And then with. Obviously, getting a few extra days off and then going to play them up there. What are the what are the challenges and advantages of that too? Um, yeah, I think just the, the the week off is huge. I mean, we, we know what we're getting into up there. These guys are really good. They play hard. Um, they have games next week. They got long travel, so we're gonna rest. We're gonna take it really light next week. Um, make sure that we're as healthy and rested as possible going up there and give it the best shot to get another sweep. How do you view the pairwise? You know, I haven't looked, um, but uh, we just got to keep winning. You know, we, and all we can do is play the game in front of us, and we did that this weekend, and the guys were really good at focusing on what we can control, and that's all we can continue to do. Cop got two. Um, this looks like he's just taking his game another level. Yeah, you know, he struggled last night, you know, he, and he knew it. Um, he, he, it was probably his worst game in, in a couple months, and tonight he really responded like he always does, and – you know, that's why he's, he's a great player, a great leader, one of the best goal scorers in college hockey, and tonight he showed it.